Hi guys, today we are at Tulum Ruins. Hi guys, today we are at Tulum Ruins. So this is the Zona Arqualaglite. This is the archaeological zone. I can't even pronounce that in Spanish right now. And these are really close to Tulum town, meaning you also have way more traffic right now to it, obviously, than you did in Coba in Chichen Itza. There are a few ruins and you can see in the background right there, um, there's a beach, which I'll show you later on. And this is one of the first few ruins. We're gonna go towards that direction and you can see a few others in the background. We're just exploring a few more ruins right now and it's pretty impressive but you can see the Castillo right there which we're gonna make our way over there on the way here actually I got caught up in the rain storm so a typical tropical rainstorm lasted 15 minutes my hair is still really wet and uh, yeah so that's what's going on right now but then literally 10 minutes later the Sun shone so Guess that's how it is. I mean, it's typical Caribbean weather. This is the Grand Castillo and as you can tell, so I'd say around 50% of people maybe wear masks and the others not really, so you can do whatever you want, but it is a very hot gorgeous day today and it's supposed to be even hotter in the coming season. Walking around the Tulum ruins, I actually saw a proposal and this couple was from the US, if I'm not mistaken. If anyone knows them and wants to tag them in this video somehow or share this video with them, definitely do that. But the Tulum runes were really good to look at at that day. They're also one of the only runes that are built at the water, at least from the Mayan period. So the Mayan runes at the water. Hi guys, so that was a quick tour from the Tulum ruins. You can actually still see a little bit some here in the background. And I hope you enjoyed it. As you can tell, it's probably way less crowded than it would normally be. But nonetheless, it's still relatively crowded just because it's pretty close to the Pueblo Tulum or just to like Playa de Carmen right on the way in between Tulum and Playa de Carmen. These were actually, I believe, one of the only ruins that are currently at the water. So Mayan ruins that were rebuilt after the Mayan period as well. I hope you enjoyed the tour. It was amazing seeing all of these ruins and also it was pretty amazing seeing that proposal at the end, making sure people are showing the love and teaching the love to each other during these very different times right now. After the Tulum ruins, I decided to take some videos from Tulum itself because I did spend quite a bit of time in Tulum town and this is just my impression of Tulum and the short period of time I was able to spend there. So you'll see the sign and a few other tourist attractions. Welcome to gorgeous Tulum. These are the Mayan statues here in the background. So they have like the huge Tulum sign and right behind that some Mayan figures, some Mayan statues. Originally I had only wanted to stay for four days, but I ended up staying for seven to eight days. 
so I think seven nights and like eight full days. Um, not necessarily voluntarily, we had like a little hurricane in between, but regardless, I have to say I really, really did enjoy my time here. One of the great parts about Tulum, at least the town, not the beach area by the way, is simply that you have so much social life going on, even during these very special times. And you know, the restaurants are great, they usually have some along the main strip, but they also have street carts, and the street vendors were really fascinating to me because I had to try out a little bit of street food while I was in Tulum. So I was able to do that. I was also able to buy some souvenirs. And my time in Tulum went by way too fast, in my opinion. Hi guys, welcome to beautiful Tulum. As you can tell, there are a few street murals here, which are really interesting looking and really nice art. Um, so I'm in front of one right now. And this is a turtle one. And these are a few others. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. That kind of reminds me of a third eye up there. <laughs> but yeah, really gorgeous. Beach. This is the National Park and as you can tell there are quite a few people. I'm going to try to go into the ocean back here. Um, it's super clear, super precious and you have to take like, all your waves afterwards. So I guess we're just going to be seeing how warm the water is and just judging by itself. Okay, so I think it's super warm. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Temperature is pretty amazing, so I'll give you an update afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed it and like, comment, share, subscribe. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below and talk to you very soon.